All right, this is a really cool card trick. I just learned, uh, really, it's not that hard to learn, but from, uh, what was it, Johnny Samoa, I think. But it's pretty cool because it doesn't matter which card you pick, you can pick any card. So this is kind of like a how-to video, I guess. So all we're gonna do is, we, I mean, we can shuffle these cards at first too, but it's just a mathematical trick that, I mean, it comes up every time. So here we go. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take 15 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now right, let's see if I have 15 here. We got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, fifteen cards. Now, all I'm gonna do with the, we can get rid of the rest of these cards. We actually don't need these at all. We're only gonna use these fifteen cards. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the spectator find any card that they want. They could shuffle and mix through them, put them out on the table or anything. So say they choose, let's go with a the two of hearts, okay? So right now I'm going to look at it because I need to know it. So we're going to have the two of hearts, and they stick this back in the deck anywhere. I mean, they shuffle the deck, all kinds of stuff, cut it, all kinds of stuff. So now all we're going to do is we're going to just put out in three piles just like this and keep going. That was the first time that we did it. Now we're going to ask him, is, this, is your card in this pile? So we show them the pile of cards, and they say, let me see. No. The cards aren't in your pot. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to put them back right here. We try it again. We show them. And this time, yes, it is. The two of ours is right there. So they say, yes, it is. So we're going to make sure that we put this on any one of the piles. But it's got to be in the middle. So then we just follow it up with this one. So it's kind of sandwiched in there between them. So now we're going to do it the second time. We're just pretty much repeating the process for three times. And then the third time, I'll show you what happens. So we go back to the beginning again. We'll flip these cards over. Show them. Is your card in here? They say no, it's not. Put it down, we'll go over to this side now. It doesn't matter which one you choose to show. Of course, nope, it's not in this one. Now other times it might be in different piles, but in this case, it's still in the middle. Okay, so their card's in here, so they say, yeah, my card's in there. So we'll put it on this one now, and then we put it on top of another one. Then all we're gonna do is do it one last time, just like this. Now, you got to kind of be ready for whenever that they say yes. So if they say yes to this pile, then I'll show you what you're going to do. But it's a no and a yes. So we're really going to be holding the cards like this to the spectator, to you guys, to this. So now if they hurried up and just said yes on this, we're just going to grab this card and pretty much just blow the rest of the cards away. So to show that that was their card. They'll be pretty amazed because, I mean, you've never seen anything from the beginning. You just started mixing around cars and stuff. Really neat how this mathematical trick actually works. Um, very easy. Just go out into three piles each time. Do it three times. And you guys, the, it'll be the middle card every time if, for two, the pile that they say yes to. All right, you guys. Hope you liked it. Check out Johnny Samoa for even more cooler videos and for beginner's tricks. Thank you, guys. Hope you enjoyed.